Hello, young engineers. Uh, in this uh, quick video, I'm going to show you how we're going to really do most of the submissions of our uh, inventor parts and assemblies. Sending a actual IPT file or an IAM file back and forth is problematic for a lot of reasons. A, they're big files. Uh, they may not be emailed easily. And also, I can only access them on a Windows-based computer with inventor. So essentially, what I'm going to teach you how to do today is use the snipping tool in Windows, which is really fun and useful and how to emboss your items or your parts so that I know that you made them. You're going to get a blank version of this document. I've already got mine started here. What are you going to do? This is going to be evidence that you can make simple parts, IPT files, and you're going to use your wooden puzzle cue to demonstrate your assembly, your IAM file, just to begin with. We're going to include embossed snips with a browser window for Activity 4.1 and the puzzle cube assembly. So this is what we're looking for. A part with your name embossed on it and the picture that I've uh, submitted here shows me the browser the story of how you made that part so let me show you how simple it is to do this with uh, Windows I've got four of those uh, done I'm gonna go to inventor and then plug in my next one and that might be this part right here we'll let it open up and I can uh, emboss it in a number of different ways I might go to the puzzle cube here and keep spinning it this one might be a nice place to emboss. I'm going to put my name right here. And to do that, the first thing I do is I start a sketch, pick that face. And now instead of drawing on it, I'm going to select text. I drag out a text box. And on most of our parts, we're going to maximize their uh, default text. Just put your last name. Hit OK. And then finish sketch. Now I'm going to emboss it, and to emboss it, it is really simple. I'm going to use this command up here. It's going to allow me to either make my name stand out or to cut it in, and I prefer the cut in part. So it's asking for a profile, and the profile that I want is my the lettering that I put. I'm going to have it actually emboss or engrave, and it's set the depth at 0.1 inch. That's probably okay. We'll hit OK, and let me show you what that looks like as we rotate it. You can see the names have been carved in there. So then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over here next to the browser so I can get a snip of it. Now, the Windows snipping tool is probably the best screenshot tool there is out there. It's so easy and fast to use. To find it, I'm going to go ahead and just go down here and search, and I'm going to start typing in snipping. There it is. comes up. Snipping tool. Desktop app. Go ahead and select it. I use mine so frequently that I actually have it on my toolbar down below here. It looks like this. So I've already have one here. I'm going to go say new and I'm going to use for the mode, I'm going to use rectangular snip. So that allows me just to outline a rectangle and uh, click and I want the browser window in there. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to snip that. Now, what I like about the snipping tool here is it doesn't have to, you don't have to save it to anything and then open a file. I'm just going to go up here and say copy or control C, get that out of the way, go back to my document that I'm working on, uh, put the cursor somewhere, control V to paste it, or you could select paste. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, um, maybe jazz it up a bit, put a border on it, one point, and that's what we're looking for. So these, this is four point one the two additive and subtractive items the three objects i asked you to do from project lead the way the last thing we want to do is i want you to give me evidence that you can do a basic assembly and that's with your puzzle cube still recording All right, so if you remember, uh, we also made a puzzle cube. We made the individual parts, which were a piece of cake, but the assembly was new to us. So one of the things I need to make sure I do is I go back into my puzzle cube project file. This is the one that I set up. I'm already in there. I'll hit done, and I'm going to open. And the only thing I want from this is the assembly itself. So the assembly is a .iam file, and the icon looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. takes a moment for it to open. Uh, says do, there's been some changes I want to update. Yes, I do. And then here is my uh, assembled puzzle cube. In this case, I'm not so concerned whether you uh, emboss it or not. We'll deal more with uh, assemblies in the coming days, but I do want a picture of what it looks like. Everyone's cube is unique anyway, so I can tell whether that's your own work. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, the snipping tool, new, 
and I want to get that browser in there, copy, go back to my document, and paste it. And again, we don't need to leave it that large. Let's try to get all of these things if we can on uh, maybe one page, one or two pages. And again, jazz that thing up again by putting it there. Look at that. All that entire assignment is put on uh, one document. I would like you to do the same and submit it to the Google Classroom. And as always, if you need help troubleshooting, ask for it.